Hello, you are watching Violin and Viola TV and I am Slata Brouwer. In this episode I'm going to answer a question from one of our viewers and his name is Darren. He writes, Hi Slata, I've been watching your videos on YouTube and have found them very helpful. I've searched around on several sites and video tutorials and never saw this, the coming topic, addressed. Does the angle at which you hold the bow matter? I notice when I see other people play that they typically have the hair of the bow pointing towards the bridge. Uh, so they have their bow tilted a little bit like this, uh, is what he means. Uh, whereas when I play, I have angles with the hair pointed more towards the neck. So he is playing the other way around. So not like this tilted, but like this. Um, I've tried rotating the bow to play on the other side of the hairs and now it's no change in my tone. I've included pictures to show my position and bow holes. Okay, um, I, I don't, don't show you the pictures uh, just to make editing easier. <laughs> um, but uh, I think I've already showed you what uh, Taryn is doing and what he sees with other players. And uh, the teachers tell you to put all the hair of the bow on the string. So to put the bow straight above the hair when it's on the string. Uh, that's um, great for the beginning uh, because you need to be able to bow with all the hair with a good sound etc etc that's kind of your basic way of bowing but uh, if you are uh, a little bit more advanced than that you can tilt the bow uh, a little bit away from the bridge so with the hair to the bridge so you tilt the bow there so you kind of lift your wrist a bit doing that um, it doesn't matter for the bow because it's not true that uh, the bow hair sounds differently on one side or the other. That's nonsense. It's of course the same. Uh, but it's better for your bow holes in movement to tilt your bow with, uh, with, the, um, with the bow a bit towards the scroll and the hair a bit towards the bridge. Because your bow hold will be a little bit like this. And then for example if you are going to play a little spiccato it will be easier. And when you do this you kind of lock your hand and you might even strain your wrist a bit uh, your, your tensing muscles that uh, need to be relaxed while bowing so it's not for your bow or for the tone that you make but it's more for yourself that you can bow better and healthier for your body if you do it uh, this way uh, then when do you tilt your bow so now we know how to tilt your bow when and why uh, if you play with less hair than all the hair uh, then you get a tone that sounds a bit softer. So we, we use it to play softer. Um, uh, then we also use it, and this is a great tip you can uh, apply right away, is that at the frog you have quite some strength in your bow. Uh, if you tilt it a little bit and you just use uh, a little bit hair uh, at the frog, and then you go, you kind of quickly tilt it back again so you um, uh, so you use all the hair further on the bow then you can get a very smooth bow change at the frog and also you can get quite a regular sound so that's why people tilt uh, don't make it a habit and always have a tilted bow because then it doesn't really have an effect on, on your playing you must play with all the hair sometimes too just what applies to what you are uh, play. So, Turin and other people watching this, I hope this has been useful. Uh, thanks to you all for watching and I hope that you will watch many more of my videos and that you will maybe even subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!